Have you ever read a book that sounded incredibly scientific until you realized none of it actually made sense? Well, that was me last week with The DNA Field and the Law of Resonance by Pierre Front. The book promises to show you how your DNA communicates with photons, how your emotions reshape reality, and how you can manifest anything you want through resonance. Sounds fascinating. Until you start asking, but where is the science behind it? Before we dive in, if you are new here, welcome to Secrets at Work. This is where we separate fact from fiction in the world of leadership, business, and occasionally quantum spirituality. I'm Osgur, a project management nerd turned corporate mythbuster, and every week we explore how ideas like this shape the way we think, lead, and make decisions at work. So if you enjoy practical insights, honest reviews, and the occasional reality check wrapped in humor, Hit subscribe, tap that bell icon, and keep your notification field perfectly in resonance with me. All right, now let's dive into what this book actually claims. Frank claims that every thought and emotion we have creates a vibration, and that vibration forms a resonance field around us. According to him, our DNA acts like an antenna, sending and receiving energy. So whatever frequency we emit attracts similar frequencies in the universe. He mixes this with references to experiments about photons reacting to human DNA, the power of emotions on molecular structures, and even the idea that love can reprogram your gene. It is basically the secret meets quantum physics 101 with a little bit of Netflix documentary voiceover energy. I get it. It feels scientific. Words like DNA, resonance, energy fields, and vibrations sound legitimate. It is sprinkled with phrases like recent studies show, and scientists have proven that. But here is the catch. There are no references to those studies, no peer-reviewed studies, and definitely no actual data. It's like someone took motivational coaching, added a teaspoon of quantum mechanics, and blended into a self-help smoothie. Taste is deep, but there is not much nutritional value. Let's start with the DNA influencing photons part. There is literally zero evidence that human DNA can remotely affect light particles in any meaningful or measurable way. Quantum physics deals with subatomic probabilities, not with your mood swings influencing the universe. And resonance fields around the body? Well, yes, your heart and brain produce electromagnetic fields, but they don't shape your career, your relationships, or your next car purchase. If they did, hospitals would be the most enlightened places on Earth. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying intention and mindset are useless. They are powerful. But claiming your DNA can manifest reality? That's not science. That is marketing with lab code. Here is why books like this sell. They give people hope. They tell you that your thoughts can change your world. And to be fair, in some psychological sense, they can. When you think differently, you behave differently. You notice new opportunities. You project more confidence. That's real. But it's psychology, not physics. If Frank had just said, change your mindset to change your outcomes, I would definitely agree. But he wrapped it in a scientific facade, and that is where the credibility collapses. So, is the book completely useless? Not really. It does remind us to pay attention to our emotional state, because negativity can sabotage our focus and the metaphor of resonance can be inspiring. If you constantly complain, you attract complainers. If you are curious and proactive, you attract opportunities. That's just basic human behavior, not quantum magic. So yes, use the idea of resonance as a self-awareness tool, but leave the pseudoscience at the door. All right, time for my favorite part, the rating scale. Let's see how the DNA field and the law of resonance performs when we actually measure it, not by vibration, but by by reasoning. So clarity, I gave four out of 10. The writing is smooth, yes, but halfway through you start asking, wait, is this a science book, a spiritual guide, or a TED talk with extra sparkles on it? It jumps between ideas faster than your neurons can resonate. Second, scientific credibility, one out of 10. And honestly, that, is, that one is just for effort, for using the word DNA correctly spelled. 
There are no scientifically peer-reviewed studies, no citations, and a lot of research has shown without showing any research. Basically, pseudoscience wearing a lab coat. And finally, the motivational value, 5 out of 10. To be fair, the idea of staying positive and aligning your thoughts with your goals isn't bad. It's just wrapped in way too much cosmic packaging. Think of it like fast food for the soul. It tastes good, but it's not nutritious. Overall, I would say it's a nice placebo, but not a textbook. If you read it as a philosophy or self-help, you might enjoy it. But if you read it as a scientific fact, you will probably need an aspirin afterwards. Now, if you actually want books that explain how mind and behavior interact without inventing magical energy fields surrounding us, I've got a few recommendations coming up next. Looking for something truly grounded in science, read Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman or Behave by Robert Sapolsky. They explore how the mind and biology actually shape behavior without inventing mystical energy fields. So, my friend, have you ever read a book that pretended to be scientific but turned out to be total fluff? Tell me in the comments, I might review it next. And if you enjoy dissecting ideas and discovering the real science of success, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Secrets Network and ring that little bell so your notification field stays in resonance with me. Thank you for watching everyone. See you in the next one.